Okay guys, welcome back to the course and welcome to this lecture on transmitting our data from the Arduino IDE over to an intermediary certificate broker on the cloud, which is going to be node red, and then forward that data onto AWS IoT Core. Now I record this lecture about nine months after the previous lecture on Mongoose and also after the Xerneth lecture. And the reason is because a lot of people had interest in using the Arduino IDE to forward data to AWS IoT Core. But as you know, if you played around with it, there's one big problem with that is the ESP8266 and most of the libraries made for it can't really handle the certifications with TLS 1.2 and SSL. So how do we get around that? Well, Node Red is going to help us get around that. Now there's two versions of Node Red. There's a locally based Node Red, which installs a local web server to our personal computer. We don't want to use that version because it's got a dynamic IP. We want a static IP. We don't want to deal with port forwarding. We don't want to deal with VPCs. So by using Node Red in the cloud, which we're going to do in the next lecture, we have our own web address that we can forward our data to. It's going to certify it with SSL TLS in Node Red on the cloud, and then it's going to forward that data onto AWS IoT. Now there are projects on GitHub that supposedly can hold these certificates on your ESP8266 12e. I've not gotten any of those to work. So you can try them. If you get them to work, let me know. And the ones that look like they're going to work are pretty complicated with low level C. And at that point, you might as well use AWS FreeRTOS. So there's no real purpose in that. Plus, it's good to show you Node Red because for IoT applications, this is a free service to start, but it has tons of little drag and drop pre made code snippets that work very well. And it'll be very cool to see that in the next lecture. Then finally, in the third lecture, I'm going to give you our Arduino script that's going to send data to Node Red, it's going to get certified in the cloud in Node Red and then forward to AWS IoT, which is now called AWS IoT Core. And it'll be a very cool way to use a very constrained device, namely the ESP8266, but you can also do this with the ESP32. But of course, the ESP32 is much more capable with some of these different operating systems on holding the devices on board, unlike the ESP8266, which only I found Mongoose to do that reliably. So let's get into the next lecture. We'll set up Node Red in the cloud, inject a fake data package just like we did with the MQTT FX tool, but instead it's going to be on the cloud. And then we're going to forward that data onto AWS IoT Core. Then in the next lecture after that, when we finish up, I'm going to have a data package on your ESP8266 program in our Duino IDE, forward it to Node Red, certified in the cloud with Node Red, and then forward to AWS IoT Core. So let's get started with that next.